Here is a great recipe using Bob's Red Mill Steel Cut Oats as a main dish for a healthy, delicious lunch or dinner. In this pan we have one half cup of the steel cut oats and two cups of the broth. They have been soaking for about an hour and now we're going to cover it and put it on high. We're going to follow the package instructions of how to cook it. Then in this pot we're going to put the ingredients for the porridge. So three cups of broth. This is a vegetable broth. Turn it onto high and you add half a cup of frozen onions, three quarters of a cup of frozen edamame, a cup of carrots frozen, a cup of bell peppers and onion frozen, and one can of black beans that are rinsed. And then we add the spices. It's one teaspoon of coriander, two teaspoons of cumin, one tablespoon of garlic powder, and a quarter cup of miso. It doesn't matter if it's great, you know, dark or light or red, just as long as it doesn't have too much any other flavor. And then you stir it around. And I'm using my spurtle today in the clockwise direction with my right hand to ward off the evil spirits. So now we cover it and we wait for it to come to a boil. The porridge has come to a boil and so you have to turn the heat down and you have to crack the lid. So the oats are ready. Oh my gosh. So we want to strain them through a fine sieve so that we separate the oats from the liquid. We add them to the porridge. You stir the oats in. You add one ounce of lemon juice. You stir that in. And believe it or not, this dish is done. Serve Anita Gale's spicy scotch porridge in a bowl, add a bit of pepper, and serve with cranberry sauce and marmalade. <laughs>